Okay, so let's have a short tutorial on how to make this grid have a rotation parameter like this. Since, as you can see, uh, rotated yung mga letters natin na A and B na grid dito. So, in reality, we should be drafting this as readable, just like the 1 and 2 here. So, here I can rotate here. Uh, according to the rotation that I want it to be readable. So in this case, I can make it at 270, 270 degree. Okay, so just like that. So I'll teach you today how to do this in a minute. Let's select the grid and then B for block edit. Select dynamic grid. Then from here, we will apply some parameters and action. The first parameter is the point parameter. Let's place the parameter location at the center of this grid bubble. So just hover the mouse to the bubble, then the center of snap will reveal itself. So click the center, then specify label location. Let's place it up here. Then let's rename this as grid bubble center. Okay. Next, let's apply an action here. So click the action tab, move action, then select parameter. Let's select this grid bubble center parameter. Then select object. We will all only select the attribute object here, which in instance, this is the number one. So select number one, select object, enter. Then the action is now applied. Next, let's apply rotation parameter. So rotation, specify base point. Let's select again the center. Then specify radius of param of the parameter. So let's select until the quadrant shows itself. So let's select the quadrant. Then specify default rotation angle. So let's just type zero. Then let's apply a rotation action here. So rotate action. Select parameter. Let's select this the one with angle one select object select only the attribute which is number one again select object enter let's rename angle one okay let's rename here at the properties palette so angle one let's rename this as grid label rotation grid label location or oh, rotation i mean so after this you can either test the block or close block editor then save let's check so if you have a rotation parameter properly applied you will see this rot rotation parameter here or symbol so if you click here, you can click anywhere on the circle. Or you can just tweak the properties palette here, the grid label rotation. So if you want it on 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 180, or 270. Let's apply it on plan. So now let's apply the newly created or newly edited dynamic block here. So I for insert. Then let's find here the dynamic grid. Okay, so let's uncheck rotation. Then make sure it is rotated 90 degree angle. So let's click the dynamic grid. Then put here here on the midpoint 
or at the midpoint of the columns. So click here, then label is A, then another, another, then let's name it B label. Okay, so as you can see, the A and B are wrong or are on the wrong direction or wrong orientation. So let's select these two grids. Then let's find the grid label rotation at the properties palette. Then type 270. So they, they can be now corrected using the rotation parameters and action.